really hurts. Well, I think I fancied up. I think I fancied a bit of all of them. <laughs> oh my god, this is literally like the worst song very void I've ever done in my life. I don't even know where to answer where to start. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another daily vlog. <laughs> time I start an intro I never get the intro exactly right because it is technically a daily vlog this but I think I might also include some clips from tomorrow because I'm actually heading to London tomorrow to go on Chloe versus the world at Chloe Rose's podcast with Byron so I probably will vlog little bits of that as well because I'm starting this vlog a little bit later it's currently 10 past 3 in the afternoon the reason I'm starting this so late is because I spent the morning recording the podcast as you would have seen is that episode up no that episode isn't going to be up just yet that episode will be up on Tuesday and Thursday Thursday next week but it was such a good episode well two episodes because obviously we do one Tuesday and one Thursday now but it was so much fun so obviously started my morning by doing that and we were on the record for like three hours so we went on about quarter to ten-ish and then we didn't finish until like half twelve just because we kept talking and talking and talking so I don't know how much is actually going to get made into the final edit but it was so much fun so yeah started my morning by doing that and then I actually had some lunch did some work on my laptop and then now we're here and starting another vlog I haven't done a vlog at home since my birthday so like near enough a month ago first of all how is time going so fast like I physically don't understand how my birthday was a month ago in five days when I'm filming this because it almost feels like it was yesterday but since then I've literally been to LA I've been to Vegas and then I've been on that lodge holiday which is like my previous video so yeah very excited to be home for the foreseeable I have no trips booked apart from going away at Christmas with my family which I'm actually really excited about because I just want want to be at home and just working to be honest I've got such a busy November in Manchester with work and stuff which is all so exciting but yeah I'm just excited to be back in like one place and just to get to relax for a little bit well I'm not really relaxing because I'm working but you know what I mean not having to pack and live out of a suitcase so yeah where do I even catch you guys up from I mean the last thing I obviously vlogged was the lodge but that was like a weekend away I was obviously out home in Manchester before that and I went out for Halloween actually we went to Menagerie for Halloween which was really fun and then we headed to the gay village in Manchester Manchester, which is like one of my favorite nights out. I don't do it that often, but when I do go, I have so much fun. But I was just so tired because me and Byron had just got back from Vegas when it was Halloween, and we'd just done PLT's Halloween party, which is at the box in London. Which, if you don't know what the box is, it is like the wildest club in the world. It's basically like a club in London where loads of celebrities go, and it's tiny, hence why it's called the box. It is a downstairs area, but the main part is upstairs and it's tiny, and they basically just have loads of sex shows in there which is really really well I was gonna say it's really cool it is kind of cool because I really enjoy myself but it's a really really good club and PLT hosted their Halloween party there with GK Barry so had that got very very drunk was very hungover went to stay at Flossie's for a few days straight off being home from Vegas and then came back went out in Manchester for Halloween and honestly guys now I'm having a wholesome November like I'm done with going out and partying I think I'm probably gonna go out once on a Saturday with my friend Jess and that is literally as far as this month is taking me as part of like partying and stuff I just want to chill i just want to relax and just not drink any more rose wine saying that i'm going out for dinner tonight because it is one of my best friends daniella's birthday and we're going to firefly which is like one of the nicest one of my favorite restaurants in manchester actually and i'm really excited to go there so i said i wasn't drinking potentially might have a glass of wine but i've got to get up really early tomorrow to go to london so i don't really want to be drinking tonight when i've got to get up super early again tomorrow another thing i was on such an exciting shoot yesterday with pretty little thing it ended up being an all-day shoot and and it was so much fun. I can't wait for you guys to see what we've done. I literally can't say anything other than the fact that I was filming something with Pretty Little Thing. But was so excited when I found out I was doing it. Because as you guys know, I'm obsessed with them. So the fact that they've asked me to do this is like huge for me. So yeah, very, very excited about that. Can't wait for you guys to see. And I think that is pretty much all of the updates that I have for you. I mean, if I think of anything else in my head whilst like today goes on, then I can update you guys. But other than that, I think that might be it. Actually, I do have something exciting, but this is like personal excitement for me. Um, I got a new mattress and I'm very excited about it. I had already heard of the brand Emma before because my mum had actually told me about their mattresses. So then when they reached out and wanted to work with me, I was absolutely buzzing. I've got my new mattress on my bed now. I've had it on for a few days. And let me tell you, it is that good of a mattress that I overslept and was late to a shoot. 
I think that says everything. It is the comfiest, comfiest mattress I think I've ever had in my life. I've probably gone through maybe four mattresses. So this would probably be my fifth and it is just phenomenal. I'll pop in some of the clips of us like undoing the mattress and stuff because obviously it turned up at my house vacuum packed and I love watching stuff when it's like vacuum packed like blow up and like come out of the vacuum packaging if that makes sense. The particular one that I've got is the Lux Cooling Mattress and it actually basically helps you slip into a deep sleep faster which it definitely did for me and it also helps you stay free of night sweats which is really nice because in the warmer months my apartment as I've said many times is actually a greenhouse it's also got five layers of support in the mattress so the quality is just incredible i've also got two of the original foam pillows and i've never had a foam pillow before i've only really had this if i've slept like other people's houses but they're so so soft and i always thought i was gonna hate that sort of pillow but i've actually slept better with having a foam pillow rather than my like old other pillows i've also got the duvet as well so i literally basically have like a full new bed set and my sleep has just been so much better but now i'm finding myself like more excited to go to bed because i just want to lay in the bed because of how comfy it is another really good thing is they actually offer a 200 night risk-free trial which is amazing and a 10-year guarantee on all of their products so as you can probably sell, they back their products and they are amazing. They are having a big Black Friday sale, so I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys to shop all of the items and many more they offer on the website. But the Black Friday sale is going to be up to 65% off of everything. And then if you use the code Anastasia BF, I will pop it on screen here, you're going to get a further 5% off of your entire order. If you've been looking for a reason to get a new mattress, new pillows, new duvet, whatever you want, this is your sign to do so. Again, thank you so much to Emma for working with me on this part of the video. I cannot wait to go to bed tonight. Honestly, just to lay in this bed. I can't wait to have a full bed day actually and just lay in bed all day on my brand new mattress. I'm so excited. It is time to whip out the last of the autumn candles. I've said to myself, I'm gonna leave all of my autumn decor up for a few more weeks. Then we're transforming this place into a grotto. But I've got out my Nan's candle that she got me for my birthday and it's a double wicked Yankee. Like I was saying in that video, I've never seen a double wicked Yankee before, but but this is going to smell amazing. I had a bacon roll earlier. I'm not going to lie. My whole house is smelling a bit like a bacon roll. So I'm excited for it to smell like pumpkin, maple, cream, caramel pancakes. Also, when I was leaving the shoot yesterday, PLT actually gave me this really cute little goodie bag. And it's got a load of like pampery stuff in. But I wanted to show you, I've actually got my own Stanley Cup dupe. And I feel like I really need one of these because literal glass of water just there. I don't drink enough water at, at all. And I really need to get better at it. So hopefully now I have my Stanley Cup dupe. I'm going to be drinking lots more water. So I'm actually going to fill this up now with some water. But how cute. Let me show you what else there is in the bag as well. There's basically a load of like pamper stuff. I've got some Molly May filter tan. I've got some lashes, some lip gloss, some bath salt. It's really weird though. When I have my heating on in the winter. Well, I obviously I only have heating on in the winter anyway. But my hot water goes. Don't know if the boiler can just take both at the same time. So I was going to get a bath in a second. But I've got my heating on. So don't know how much hot water there's going to be. But yeah, I've got bath salts, face mask. Basically just a full on pamper bag so plt thank you so much cannot wait to use this this weekend it is time to get ready well i said get ready i need to top up my makeup i'm not gonna take my makeup off because i can't be bothered to redo it in all honesty so i'm just gonna work with what i've already got and just top everything up i just probably should start I'm not gonna put any more foundation on but i definitely need to put some more concealer on so i thought i'd just show you what i'm using this concealer is about to run out it's my hmb airbrush one that i got from tiktok shop and it is actually on its last legs so i need to order another one but my skin's not awful at the moment to be honest i mean i'm not really getting that many spots it's just i always suffer with spots on my chin if i'm gonna get them which is the only really annoying place and that's where i let my makeup tends to show it off first so i'm just gonna put a little bit more concealer on there and on my nose i'm gonna redo all my contour and stuff i kind of feel like i need to update my makeup bag that's what i need to do actually that is on my to-do list for this weekend because loads of my products are basically finished and ran out I'm just trying to scrape the edge off of them just to make sure I've used all of them. I'm gonna go in with my fave contour. This is the Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting and it's so good but hasn't really lasted on me that well today because I've been sweating so much. I don't know what it is guys. This is a little bit TMI but I'm basically during my period but as you guys know I have PCOS. My periods really regulated themselves and then out of nowhere it just stopped and I haven't actually had a period since the end 
end of August. So I haven't had a period for like, I've missed two periods basically. And I'm due on my third, but I haven't yet come on my third. I've been getting signs and stuff that my body's trying. Like I've been getting like my normal ovary pain because I suffer with that before I come on my period. I've been getting back pain. I obviously had a UTI, which I spoke about in my birthday video. So I basically just had like signs and stuff that my body is trying to come on, but it's not really. And I've also had like, this is also TMI, but very normal. So I want to speak about it. My boobs, like, you know, I had to Google it. But apparently when you come on your period, your boobs can like get like a, I can't explain it but they'll feel a bit like the glands are swelling because there's something to do with one of the hormones that is released when you're coming on your period and i've had that this time with a bit of like boo pain so i've got like every symptom just no period and it's honestly kind of draining and i feel like i don't really speak about it a lot but it is something that stresses me out because i think the longest i've gone without a period was the beginning of this year when i went three cycles and came on my fourth so if i don't come on this cycle and I don't come on the next cycle, then this is now gonna be the longest I've gone without a period. And it does stress me out a little bit because I was so happy when I managed to get them regular again and I, they really regulated out to the point they were coming on, kind of like clockwork, which was so nice because I just knew when to expect it, I knew when it was coming, but I don't know, it's just, it's just a lot since being diagnosed with PCOS because obviously it does stress me out and stuff with my future of having babies and having children and everything like that. But obviously, you know, when that time comes, I will go to the doctors and see my options because that is very far off the cards right now. But yeah, just wanted to be completely honest and open with you guys about how I've been feeling about that and how it kind of affected like my moods and stuff because I feel like it has affected it. I feel like my hormones are just kind of going a bit crazy at the moment and some days I'll be like super, super happy and then other days I'll be so sad for absolutely no reason and I genuinely do just think it is all the hormones in my body because obviously I have an imbalance of them. So yeah, I haven't come on a period for three months which is a bit stressful but fingers crossed now I've had all the signs because I wasn't getting any of the pain the last two cycles whereas obviously now I have so hopefully this does mean my body is like doing something and in the next few days I'm going to come on my period but I went on my flow app and it was like so you're on cycle day 78 and I was like hmm thank you for reminding me so yeah that was a little update with that anyway back to something a little bit more light-hearted my makeup as you can see that looks so much better now it just looks a little bit more fresh and more put together on my Base. Maybe I should darken up my eyes a little bit because I've only got one colour on. On my eyes, I'm actually, I've only got my bronzer. I did it for ease this morning because when I was filming my podcast, I woke up a little bit late um, and I needed to do my makeup pretty quick. So I just popped some bronzer on my eyes. But I feel like I should maybe darken it up or like smoke it out for this evening. My hair's already done. Thank God I've got extensions in my hair because when Alicia does my hair, she did it the night before I had the shoot, so two days ago. And I know you're not meant to sleep in clippings, guys. I really do know. But when Alicia does my hair, my hair lasts so well that I don't want to take it out. Like, it just looks so nice and I don't ever want to get actual extensions. I never will get actual extensions because my hair is a really good length without them. But I just like it, obviously, for shoots and stuff because it just makes me feel a little bit more glam. But yeah, I've kept them in. So it's just so much easier when I wake up in the morning, brush my hair, my hair is done. It is unbelievable. And on Friday, yeah, you guys would have seen, I would have posted on my Instagram story already. I'm going to the Big Brother Live Eviction. I've been obsessed with Big Brother this year. I've missed a couple of episodes. I need to catch up actually. But I've been obsessed with it. And Callum is like number one Big Brother super fan. So me and Callum are going. ITV managed to sort us out. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. So can't wait to do that on Friday. And I'm like, do I keep my extensions in for that long? So I can have like long hair. Don't even know if you're going to be able to see us on the TV. But obviously like just in case. Because hopefully we're going to go to the bit after. Where you like sit and they have like the eviction interviews. So I need to pick an outfit for that actually and then obviously i'm on the podcast tomorrow as well so i need to get two outfits i need three outfits i need to decide an outfit for tonight as well because i have no idea what i'm gonna wear so yeah doing that on friday i've got a very busy but a very exciting week just adding some highlighter my makeup looks so much better now it just looks a lot fresher and then i also need to add some more lipstick because all of my lipstick has come off i'm starving all i've had to eat today is a bacon roll two packets of one cocktail crisp and some matchmakers because i've been so saving myself well i haven't actually done a food shop yet since coming back from the lodge but i've also been saving myself for dinner tonight because i want to get some honey halloumi which is my favorite thing to get from firefly and then i want to get some sushi i think maybe like some tuna sashimi would be really nice i only ever really eat sushi and stuff when i go out and like i said firefly is the best place for sushi in manchester well one of the best places for sushi in manchester so i feel like i definitely need to get sushi whilst i'm there this evening but i'm starving now and i'm not going for 
few hours but i was like i don't want to eat then i'm not gonna want to eat later because i'm gonna be full so i'm saving myself now i'm letting the hunger build okay i think i've successfully topped up my makeup and that took no time at all i just need to run this brush through my hair oh actually let me just set my makeup i've got my charlotte tilbury setting spray and now my makeup is done. Now it is time to pick an outfit. I have a rough idea. I think of what I want to wear, but I haven't actually tried them on before. So I don't know if, well, how they're going to fit me. But I got these trousers from, are they from Ego or PLT? They're from PLT. And they're like these grey, kind of like, not acid wash. And then also not army sort of print but these gray jeans basically and i think they're gonna sit low waisted and i love the like cut on the top so i've got these jeans so i'll try those on but i don't really know what top to wear them with because it's pretty cold oh i could wear them with this one actually because this is gray but this would look so much better if i had red shoes or like a red bag to tie in the red in the top but that could work oh my god i think i'm gonna do that oh i'm so annoyed i don't have a red bag or red shoes to tie it in like that little i mean that oh it's got red on the rim of that bag but that doesn't really go with the trousers hmm girlies we're having a bit of an outfit crisis here i need to start wearing more color like I, that is what i've realized i've said that for ages but and i have got color in here oh could i wear oh no that's not really gonna match actually because it's gray but i'm just talking to myself this is what i do every single time i'm trying to plan an outfit i sit and i basically talk to myself and i'm like is this gonna go is this gonna go probably not but i kind of do want to take that the chanel kind of goes better actually now i'm looking at it i think the chanel might go better oh do i even wear that top oh decisions decisions i need to definitely wear either a gray or a white top with those trousers can't really wear any other color i could wear black right brb gonna figure out what i'm wearing and then i'll come back and show you the full outfit okay i think this is what i'm gonna go for literally the black top i already had on and then my jeans that are from white fox i love these ones and then my little denim louis vuitton bag and then obviously i'm just not even gonna be able to see my heels i've got on my denim heels and i was like do i wear heels like do i need to wear heels for dinner but i kind of feel like it makes the outfit a little bit more dressy and i know that every girl i'm going with is going to be in heels so yeah gone with the heels just brushed out my hair i actually have just got on ready in about 10 minutes but i'm really enjoying this outfit so now i think i'm gonna i don't know whether to go over to freya's and go with freya to callum's or just to wait and go to callum's because it's rush hour chock a block traffic out there it's not giving cue so i'm not too sure these are the heels they're from ego and i've never worn them before so i don't know how these are going to treat my feet but they look gorgeous i am clearly the most incredible vlogger ever the worst because we've just finished our meal and i've realized i've not vlogged a thing so we are out by five with Callum and Freya and Ryan and everyone and i just ate all my food because i was so hungry and i didn't feel any of it so i had popcorn halloumi which is like honey coated halloumi we'll pop a picture on screen because how I done now. I was probably going to do a full segment in the restaurant. I don't know if I've been anything, but I'm going to do it. Thank you, babe. You've always got you. Anyway, I'm going to pop tomorrow, but I'm going to be done with it. I was going to end it here, but sorry, I'm going to have to. Oh. What are they doing? Yeah, Ryan, Ryan thought the menu was Freya's Kindle. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is the next day and I actually stayed over at Byron's last night just to make it a little bit easier for this morning because recently I've had a bit of a problem with waking up on time. I don't know why but I've been going into some like serious deep deep sleeps and I've not been able to wake up properly in the morning so I thought if I stay over at Byron's I know I'm definitely going to wake up. But today we are heading to London. We are going on Chloe's podcast. I'm really excited. Do not judge the same outfit. I'm in the exact same outfit that I wore last night because I was like oh that's quite a nice outfit actually to wear for the podcast. If I'm saying at Byron's. It just makes life a little bit easier. So I will show my outfit, but it is literally the exact same as last night. We've made it to London and we've decided that we're going to make up a little lie on Chloe's podcast. And if she, she asks, might not even ask us. Yeah, she might not ask it because we don't know what she's asking. But if she asks like how we met or something, I'm just basically going to go off on this lie and say that I used to work in an ice cream van. And when when oh, I was like 15, DMA. when I was doing DV, and Byron's mum and the family and stuff came to the ice cream van, and his mum came up to me and said that, oh, my little boy thinks you're cute. Can he have your number? I don't think that's the 
unbelievable that part. Why is that not believable? Because why would my mum do that? Because you were too nervous. But then oh, my how old would you have my been? son. I'll say my son then. How old would you have been at that time? Though? 16, 15. So I'd have been 17. 17. My son's too nervous to come over, but he really wants your number. I was like, oh, that's sweet. So I gave my number. And then he asked me on a date. That's the story we're going to run with. It was actually we met at an event. We're just going to run with that and see if she says anything. We're just going to see if she believes I just don't us. think she's going to believe. she will believe us, though. I don't think she's going to believe that I worked in an ice cream bar. Yeah. So I've never said that anywhere before. Well, we can say we actually don't think we've told this story like for life. No, I'm not going to. We've never explained it, have we? I'm just such a liar. I thought my voice changes my lie. So. But I'll try anyway. But yeah, run away now. We're going to Mindaway. I'm loving my same outfit from yesterday. Never ended up wearing the heels yesterday, by the way. I changed into these and I've got Byron's socks on. Look at how high. You didn't need to pull them up that high. <laughs> Like you just don't wear socks like that. You wear socks like that. Thank you, baby. That's the heel. I yeah, because I've got size four feet and you've got size twelve. No, I don't have size twelve. What size feet are you? Nine. No. All right. <laughs> I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Hey guys, we got a pizza. Don't really know what it is. I'm destroying <laughs> like, Do you know what? Pet peeve is when you like it's not cut already. And then I, I know, yeah. It. Why is there no. They didn't even give us a. That's actually pretty good. Thingy. That was really good actually. It's got honey on it. We're now on the train home. We went for a glass of wine. Yeah, we went to the had... pub. I haven't actually ever been to like a random little corner pub in London yeah, before. Like it was it. very fun. There was lots of people in there. We played Psych, which is like my favourite game to play at the moment. Now I've got a Burger King and we got some wine. I don't know what it's going to be like. I said one in Rome <laughs> at the top. <laughs> one in Rome. You know we'll have Rose a wine train. Let's try it. It's probably five. Me and I would just welcome people so into uh, new sensation saying, Welcome to London, guys. Welcome, welcome to London. London. Welcome no to one London, responded. Guys. Yeah, no one responded. We were sat on the floor outside and I just thought, like, we can do whatever we want right now. Like, we just, people not gonna care. And we were just saying things to people walking past. No response. I saw the woman, she had beautiful flowers. She said, Thank you. Yeah. One of you guys came over, I was sat on the floor eating a burger king. Nice to meet you, girlie. And we're home, finally, and we actually ordered a Chinese. I got crispy chili beef in OK sauce, egg fried rice, and some chips. And then we've got some fortune cookies. So I'm gonna open this, and we've got some prawn crackers as well. And we're gonna sit and binge watch Love Island Games because we've got two episodes to catch up on, I think. It actually looks like I've got two little horns on my head, but let's see what Fortune Cookie says. Did you feel a vibe for which one you want to choose? Yeah, I felt like I wanted this one. I don't understand how people eat these. What do you mean? It's just, you just beat it. I know, but you just beat it. You just eat it. <laughs> oh, so you just beat it. I don't know, it's not a bad note, it's a bit funny. They're more of like it an says, after food snack. Oh, a kind word will put you at ease today. You fat, ugly bitch. <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> 